All right, so it is officially that time of the year. And today we're talking about our top 10 premium true wireless earbuds. This is not gonna be a complete breakdown and review of each of these earbuds. Um, so if there is a particular pair that you want more information on, I will put the link to a playlist in the description of this video um, that will include my individual reviews and breakdowns of each of these earbuds. So make sure you check that out. Also, I will put all of the purchase links to all of the earbuds that I mentioned here today in the description of this video as well. So if there's one that stands out to you, do me a favor, go to the description, click on that purchase link for that particular set of earbuds, and it does help support the channel. So let's go ahead and get right into it with our first pair of earbuds, which is going to be the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro. Easy choice. I mean, these are by far one of the best overall bang for buck earbuds that you can get. And when these came out, they were 170 bucks, but lately I've seen them priced as low as $100. And let me tell you, when it comes to a pair of earbuds, 100 bucks for the Liberty 3 Pro is the best money that you can spend on a pair of earbuds for sure. Literally any feature that you can think of when it comes to true wireless earbuds, these basically have, we have wireless charging, we have multi-point connection. So you can connect the earbuds to two devices at the exact same time. Um, you have automatic play and pause. Um, you have a companion app, which happens to be one of the best companion apps out there, uh, which gives you full customization over the earbuds. You can customize the touch controls. So if you get these earbuds, take them out of the box and you don't like the default configuration for the controls, you can change it. Come up with your own configuration to make them easier to use for you. Not only that, you can customize the sound. You've got custom EQ controls and they've got a nice long list of EQ presets for you to choose from. So you can just go down the list, pick which one sounds the best to you, or you can choose to come up and create your own custom EQ. And as far as sound quality, if you're into the technicals, as far as codecs and things like that, these do support LDAC, which is a higher resolution codec. Um, so you have access to that um, and they just sound good. They're very dynamic. If you're a person that prioritizes nice, punchy, impactful bass, these are going to be a great pair to check out for that as well. Um, and not to mention, they have some of the best call quality, at least in my opinion. Now, most earbuds are OK when it comes to taking calls in a quiet environment. But when it comes to taking calls in a more noisy environment. So if you're somebody that travels a lot, you're commuting and handling phone calls at the exact same time. These earbuds are amazing at canceling out and eliminating background noise and focusing in on nothing more than the voice. So long story short, these have some amazing call quality. Now let's talk about one of the negatives when it comes to the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro, and that's gonna be that they're larger in size, which means that in terms of the fit, it might be iffy, especially if you're somebody with smaller size ears. So that is kind of the gamble that you take when it comes to the Liberty 3 Pro. But again, all in all, bang for buck, these are one of the best out there. Next up, we have the LG Tone Free T90, and the price on these is around 230 bucks. And in my opinion, especially for Android users, these are one of the best AirPod Pro alternatives that you can get. You've got wireless charging, you have multi-point connection, so you can connect the two devices at the exact same time. Um, they also have a companion app, so you can customize the sound. Um, they've got a couple EQ presets that you can choose from. Um, you can also customize and create your own EQ preset. And then as far as the touch controls, you're able to customize your own configuration for those as well. So you've got a lot of customization options with these earbuds. And these earbuds even have some specs and features that you're not gonna see with any of the other earbuds on this list. Uh, one of those being ultraviolet technology with the charging case. So literally when you put the earbuds inside of the case, it's got like UV lights that sanitize and clean the bacteria from the earbuds. I don't know, you know, who's really looking for that feature, but for those of you that are curious, it is there. And then these also have a very unique plug and play feature, which allows you to use these earbuds with devices that don't have Bluetooth. So it comes with a type C to 3.5 millimeter audio cable that you can connect to the charging case that will allow you to use the earbuds with other types of devices. So you could use these for gaming consoles, 
Um, you could also use these for traveling purposes, especially if you're somebody that catches a lot of long international flights. And if you wanna use your earbuds with the in-flight entertainment, you could connect the charging case to the actual in-flight entertainment and use your wireless earbuds to watch a movie or anything of that nature. So definitely really, really cool. Now, one of the main reasons that I think these are a great AirPod alternative is because they also offer notification readout. So if you're on an Apple device like an iPhone and you're using the AirPods, you know they'll read out your text messages and things like that. Well, the LG Tone Free T90 also have this feature and it doesn't matter what type of phone you have. So if you're Android or iOS, they can literally read out your text messages or your social media notifications or really any notifications that you want, which is definitely a convenient feature. Now, one of the cons to consider when it comes to these earbuds is going to be the call quality. So in quiet environments, the microphones are just fine, but when it comes to taking phone calls in more noisy areas, these do not pick up the voice or at least separate the voice from the background noise very well. So if you're somebody that takes a lot of phone calls, that's definitely something to consider. Next up, we have the Sony Link Buds S. The price on these is 200 bucks, but I've seen these go on sale for as low as around 130. So as we get closer to the holidays, I'm sure that $200 price tag will drop. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are thinking, why the Link Buds S and not the WF-1000 XM4, since those are Sony's flagship earbuds, and it comes down to one reason, size. So the 1000 XM4 are going to give you the best performance out of Sony's lineup when it comes to active noise cancellation and overall sound quality, but the earbuds are large, so for a lot of people, they simply don't work in terms of the fit. So if the earbuds don't stay in your ears, it doesn't matter how good they sound or how good they cancel out the noise around you if you have to reposition them every five seconds. So that's why I like the Link Buds S over the 1000 XM4. They're much more compact. They fit much better inside of the ear, especially if you're somebody with smaller size ears. And on top of that, there's not a huge difference in terms of their performance. If you're somebody that's owned a lot of earbuds, especially higher end earbuds, and you're used to kind of comparing them and pointing out the differences and the nuances in terms of the sound quality, then you'll be able to tell a difference between the Link Buds S and the 1000 XM4. But for the rest of you guys, you probably won't even be able to tell that much of a difference. The Link Buds S still sound great. They're still giving you Sony level active noise cancellation. And one thing I think Sony does the best is adaptive noise cancellation. And that's where the earbuds can literally adjust your ambient sound based on how much noise is taking place around you. So you have access to that with the Link Buds S and they also have some cool features. Uh, for example, if you use Spotify as your main streaming source, you can actually program the earbuds to launch Spotify by simply using the touch controls on the earbuds. So that's a really cool feature. And then when it comes to phone calls, I think the Link Buds S actually perform better than the 1000 XM4. I just feel like they pick up the voice a little bit better and it's easier to hear and understand. Um, so if you're somebody that takes a lot of phone calls, in my opinion, you're actually gonna be better off with the Link Buds S. Now let's talk about a few of the drawbacks when it comes to these earbuds, starting off with the fact that there's no wireless charging. Um, there's also no multi-point connection, at least yet. Uh, because Sony did announce that they will be bringing multi-point connection to the Link Buds lineup as well as the WF-1000 XM4. So that is coming in the future. And then another drawback would be the limited touch controls. So you are able to pick and choose which controls you want for the left and the right earbud, but you don't get access to everything at once. So if you want playback controls and ambient sound control, well then you won't have volume control. If you want playback control and volume control, well then you won't have ambient sound control. So those are a few things to consider when it comes to the Link Buds S. Next up, we have the JBL Live Pro 2. The price on these is 150 bucks, although I have seen them go on sale for right around 100 bucks. Now, one thing to mention is that if you're not a fan of stem style earbuds, they also have the JBL Live Free 2 which are essentially the exact same earbuds minus the stems. 
So these have a lot of attractive specs and features. They have wireless charging. They have multi-point connection, solid active noise cancellation, decent transparency mode, and they actually have some of the best numbers in terms of battery life out of all of the earbuds in this video with around 10 hours on a single charge. They're also giving you some very respectable call quality. So these check off a lot of boxes, but the main reason that these are on this list is their sound quality, especially in terms of bass. So if you're somebody that enjoys that very deep, hard hitting sub bass, you have to check these earbuds out, especially once you go into the JBL app and customize the EQ. You can really unleash these earbuds to give you a very dynamic sound. And again, if you're somebody that prioritizes bass, these are gonna be the earbuds that you wanna check out. Now, as far as drawbacks, I would probably say the limited touch controls, uh, similar to the Link Buds S, you kind of have to pick and choose which controls you want access to, but you don't get access to everything all at once. But aside from that, there's really not a whole lot to complain about when it comes to these earbuds. So next up, we have the One More Evo. The price on these is 170 bucks, but they do go on sale from time to time. So you can typically find them for around 130, 140 ish. And these are another pair that have a lot of attractive specs and features. We have wireless charging, we have multi-point connection. Um, they're even giving you high resolution audio. So they're compatible with the LDAC codec for those of you that are into the more technical side of things. And as far as the sound quality, one of my favorites for sure, um, these actually have a dual driver setup. So these are gonna be another pair that are worth checking out if you're somebody that enjoys bass within your music, but they also have really good mids and highs and overall treble and clarity as well. So very dynamic sounding. And they actually have this feature called Sound ID, which is basically a hearing test that you can go through within the One More app that will come up with a custom EQ profile just for you. And it works really well. So I do recommend testing it out if you do end up going for these. And on top of that, you also have a number of EQ presets to choose from, as well as the option to come up with your own. On top of the sound quality, these are giving you some very, very good active noise cancellation. And aside from companies like Bose, Sony, probably throw Apple in there as well, there's not many others giving you better active noise canceling performance. So definitely, definitely some very good ANC. Now, as far as the drawbacks, Again, this is gonna be another pair with limited touch controls. You can customize the controls that you want. You just don't get access to everything all at once. And then aside from that, I would probably say the fit. These are definitely a very comfortable pair of earbuds. So you'll have no problem wearing these for extended periods of time. But if you're looking for a pair to wear to the gym or to wear when you go running, I probably wouldn't go for these for that specific purpose. So next up, we have the Jabra Elite 5, and the price on these is 150 bucks, although I do expect that price to come down some as we get closer to the holidays. And these are just another pair that check off a lot of boxes. We've got wireless charging, we have multi-point connection, we have a nice compact size, they're giving you a really good fit, good sound quality, decent active noise cancellation, and as far as the sound quality, I would say if you're familiar with some of Jabra's older earbuds, specifically like the Jabra Elite 75T, these aren't gonna be as bass heavy as those earbuds. So if that's what you're looking for, you're not really gonna get that level of bass. They give you a decent amount of bass, but just keep in mind, not gonna be as strong as some of their older earbuds. And you do get custom EQ within the Jabra app. So they've got some presets, as well as the option for you to come up with your own preset but one feature that I think helps these stand out from the rest are their physical button controls. They have those very clicky, very tactile button controls that Jabra is known for, which means you're gonna get a much more accurate experience. And I know a lot of people simply enjoy physical buttons over touch sensitive controls because they're easier to use. If you're outdoors, maybe it's cold outside. If you got gloves on, you can still control your music. Or if you're in the gym, and your hands happen to be wet or sweaty, again, you can still control your music and be much more accurate than you would be if you're using touch sensitive controls. And then as far as phone calls and microphone performance, I think the Elite 5 performed better than the Jabra Elite 7 series, even though on paper, 
the Elite 7 series has the more advanced microphone technology. And then as far as drawbacks, there's not a whole lot to complain about here, but I would say that the active noise cancellation could be a bit stronger. So next up, we have the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. The price on these is 230 bucks, and Samsung is known for putting their earbuds on sale pretty quickly, so that price is subject to change. And if you're somebody that uses a Samsung phone, then these are a no brainer because they just work so well together with other Samsung products. So you have the Samsung Galaxy wearable app, which allows you to take full advantage of the earbuds. Um, these are also very compact in size, which I like a lot, and they work well for people with small ears. They also support wireless charging. They're giving you some really good sound quality, very dynamic, great bass, great treble, great clarity, and some really good overall volume as well. And they even have 360 degree audio with head tracking, which is basically the equivalent of Apple's spatial audio. And on top of that, they're giving you some really good active noise cancellation. And they're one of my favorite as far as transparency mode, very natural sounding and very close to Apple's transparency mode, uh, which is definitely saying a lot. And then as far as the drawbacks, for the price, I do think these should have multi-point connection. And then another thing to consider is that if you're an iPhone user, it doesn't really make much sense to go for these because you won't have access to the Samsung Galaxy wearable app. And then aside from that, the phone call quality on these is not bad. I just wish that they did a better job at separating the voice from whatever background noise might be taking place around you. So next up, we have the Bose QuietComfort 2. And these are the most expensive earbuds on the list coming in at 300 bucks and Bose typically drags their feet as far as offering any discounts. So I wouldn't really expect that price to change too much in the near future. So when it comes to these earbuds, these are giving you top tier active noise cancellation and these are pretty much top two as far as active noise cancellation when it comes to this entire list. Um, the other earbuds we'll talk about here shortly. But if there's any reason to go for these earbuds and pay that premium price tag, it's gonna be the active noise cancellation. I mean, they simply just perform better than basically any other earbuds out there. Whether it's lower frequency sounds, higher frequency sounds, they just do an amazing job at eliminating those sounds and just really blocking out whatever it is that's taking place around you. They also have really good transparency mode, um, sounds very natural. Um, not quite on the level of the AirPods Pro, but still pretty close. And then another reason to go for these is going to be sound quality. So if you're familiar with the first generation Quiet Comfort earbuds, I do think these sound better. They're a little bit more dynamic. They have a little bit more punch in terms of the bass. And of course, you do have the custom EQ options inside of the Bose Music app. So you can tweak the sound and get them closer to your own personal preference. And then the last and final reason would be the fit. These are using a different design compared to the original Quiet Comfort earbuds. So they're using a silicone ear tip along with something called a stability band, which is basically like an ear fin, uh, which does a great job as far as keeping the earbuds secure in your ear. So when it comes to like working out, hitting the gym or anything of that nature, these are definitely a viable option. And they're also very, very comfortable. Now, as far as the drawbacks, number one would be the fact that there's no wireless charging, uh, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense because the original Quiet Comfort earbuds did have wireless charging. So for $300 for these not to include wireless charging is a little bit of a letdown. Another would be no multi-point connection. And again, same thing for 300 bucks. I don't think it's too much to ask for to have multi-point connection, especially considering that most earbuds that are coming out these days are starting to offer that. And then last but not least would be that there's no independent use for the left earbud. So you can use the right earbud independent of the left, but anytime you take the right earbud, put it back into the case, you're not really able to use the left earbud. Some people say they've gotten it to work. Most people say that it doesn't work. And it's just one of those situations that you shouldn't really have to deal with with a pair of earbuds at this price point. Supposedly, there's a firmware update on the way to fix this issue, but it's definitely a drawback as of this moment. So next up, we have the AirPods Pro 2. Current price on these is 240 bucks. 
And these are just an easy recommendation for anybody that owns multiple Apple devices. So if you got an iPhone, an iPad, a MacBook, these are just gonna be a great addition to your lineup because we know how well Apple products work with other Apple products. They're compact in size, very comfortable fit. They've got wireless charging. They have the squeeze controls, which are very easy to use. And this time around, they do give you access to volume controls, uh, which is something that you didn't have on the original AirPods Pro. You have a very well-balanced sound. Um, you also have top tier active noise cancellation. So these, as well as the Bose QuietComfort 2, are the two best active noise canceling earbuds that I currently own. So if ANC is one of your main priorities when purchasing a pair of earbuds, I would definitely go for one or the other. And then as far as transparency mode, Apple has pretty much been the benchmark for some time. So these are excellent in that regard as well. Very natural sounding, very similar to how it sounds when you simply don't have anything in your ears. And then as far as call quality, these are improved over the first generation AirPods Pro. So excellent for taking phone calls. They capture the voice extremely well. So again, if you're somebody that is an Apple user, you have an iPhone, other Apple products, these are a no brainer. Now, as far as the drawbacks, I would say the fact that they don't have multi-point connection. So if you own multiple types of devices, not necessarily just Apple devices, you're not really gonna get the same type of experience. And then aside from that, I would say if you're an Android user, doesn't make the most sense to go for these because you're not gonna get access to all of the features like spatial audio or the tracking ability that you have if you happen to misplace the earbuds. So those are two things to consider when it comes to the AirPods Pro 2. Next up, we have the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 3. The price on these is 250 bucks and these have wireless charging. They're giving you a great fit. They're using an ear fin design, which does a great job of really securing the earbud inside of the ear. So these are gonna be a great option as far as hitting the gym or exercising or anything of that nature. They're also giving you some really good call quality. They have fully customizable touch controls inside of the Sennheiser app. But the main reason that these are on the list is because of the sound quality. These are my number one favorite earbuds in terms of strictly sound quality. They have amazing bass, great treble, great clarity, plenty of volume, and they just have some amazing range in terms of the type of sound that they can produce. So if you like a more bass heavy type of sound, you can achieve that. If not, simply scale it back with the custom EQ inside of the Sennheiser app. And I'm just able to achieve a level of sound that you don't really get on most other earbuds. So you're also getting some really good active noise cancellation. The transparency mode is solid. But again, the reason that these are on the list is because of their sound quality. As far as the drawbacks, the one thing I would say is that the transparency mode is very effective. It definitely does a great job of drawing in your ambient sounds, but it does come with a slight bit of white noise. So I know I already covered a total of 10 earbuds, but there's one more pair that I'm having a hard time leaving out of this video, and those are the Technics AZ60. So the price on these is around 230 bucks, and these have some great specs and features. They have multi-point connection. They have some really good active noise cancellation, transparency mode, customizable touch controls. But the real reason that I was having a hard time not mentioning these earbuds is the sound quality. So these have a very immersive type of sound. So my favorite are still the Momentum 3, but when it comes to having a very wide sound stage and being able to hear the location of different instruments and different vocals inside of the music, these do that better than any other earbuds that I own. They're not the loudest earbuds, but again, when it comes to that sound stage, these are very hard to overlook. They also are giving you high resolution audio with the LDAC codec and they have customizable EQ controls within the Technics app. And on top of that, these are excellent in terms of phone call quality when it comes to reducing background noise and focusing in on nothing more than the voice. And they even have a feature inside of the app that will record your voice and play it back to you so you can hear exactly how you sound and you can hear exactly how much background noise the earbuds are able to remove. 
So I would say that these along with the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro are the best when it comes to eliminating background noise on phone calls. Now, as far as the drawbacks, I would say the fact that there's no wireless charging and the fact that these earbuds are large. So depending on the size of your ears, the fit might be a little iffy. So now that we got that out of the way, that pretty much covers it for this video. Again, if there's any earbuds that you wanna know more about, feel free to check out the link to that playlist in the description of this video and it'll take you to the individual reviews that I've done on each of these earbuds. And I do have the purchase links to all of these earbuds in the description as well. So if you're interested, feel free to use those links. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you found this video to be even remotely helpful. I will greatly appreciate it. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.